to license it. Meep, meep. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale Willy Lamborghini Murcielago. I obtained this particular casting in this condition in an eBay lot with lots of other Lambos. You can see that the paint is chipped and peeling and the axles are loose so it's not really a straight runner. The scissor doors don't open on this casting, which is too bad. This is just the second car of my summer lineup. You're going to see a buddy build in August with Cole from Kuda's Diecast Customs, and my big summer epic build is a Super King's War Rig. But hang in with me today for about eight minutes to watch this Murcielago remake. That's enough time to enjoy a nice cup of coffee, a little jazz and a sexy Italian exotic supercar. The Murcielago is one of many cars on my long wish list of cars I'd like to take out on the Autobahn. Wouldn't that be super? The Murcielago was produced by Lamborghini between 2001 and 2009. It was the successor to the Diablo and the flagship V12 of the automaker's lineup. This particular model was cast pretty truly, so there wasn't a lot of bare metal detail to be done. And after degreasing and priming, I am applying a base coat of metallic silver with a rattle can. And I've got a special application in mind today and a little bit of an experiment. I've got it all taped up and I actually did a fade on the side of this car from the bottom up and now I'm doing the back engine cover also in a fade and with a rattle can. Never tried that before. I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. I think the tip is just sort of spraying from an angle slightly under the car and you'll see dark at the back of the engine cover and the fade towards the roof. That came out great, and I've used the same can of metallic blue to go on the original Welly wheels. So they're going to match nicely when it's all done. You might already know that of all the Lamborghinis that have been produced, only a handful carried names that weren't connected to bolts. One of those models is the Countach, regarded as the first Lamborghini to break free from the automaker's bull naming tradition. Murcielago is the Spanish word for bat. In the Castilian Spanish, spoken in most of Spain, the word is pronounced Murcielago. However, the Italian automaker often uses the Southern Spanish pronunciation Murcielago, which has caught on the best. Embarrassingly, in May 2010, in the United States, Lamborghini had to recall 428 of its coupes and roadsters because of the possibility of a weld failure on the fuel pump support inside the fuel tank, potentially leading to a fuel leak and a possible fire. Some of the final exterior detail work is being done now by hand. With a paintbrush you see I've used semi-gloss black on some of the intakes and Tamiya clear red to give the taillights an authentic look. And you gotta have a bull on the hood of a Lambo. That is so small I needed a magnifying glass to see if I had it right side up or upside down. Okay, it's got a funny little set of sport exhausts here which I clipped off with my snippers and I'm using these tiny metal ferrules that come from the electrical aisle in the hardware store to make some quad sport exhaust. That might not be true to the original car if you're a purist, but looks kind of cool on the little 1-64 scale and it's going to end up as a gift for a child.
and hopefully have a new and a long life as a exotic carpet racer. Windshield cleans up nicely with a little bit of plastic polish as you see right here. And almost every picture of the Lambo is with the doors up like that. Too bad it doesn't happen on this little casting. Everything is set and cured and ready for reassembly. I've already put the plastic interior onto the chassis and the wheels are attached so this just clicks in. But originally the posts were too small to drill out. I didn't even risk that for fear of a blowout. So they're getting a touch of super glue and what I've done is taken my regular machine screws, 256 size, and cut the threads off a little bit. So essentially it's just the head that's left that covers the uh, rivet holes kind of for a cosmetic look. There's the spray can fade on the side. Wouldn't you agree that came out very, very well for a spray can? In the wheels match, there's the sport exhaust and the tail lights and a vanity plate. A little bit of detail on the bottom and it's a great looking car. It was rough as most of the cars I get are in their original condition when they come to me, but that's what this channel is all about. And I most enjoy taking something from that condition and making it look like this. All finished. And the Murcielago looks ready for the track again. I'm very happy with the final result of this and I'm sure it will make a delightful toy for someone. If you enjoy this kind of video I invite you to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and come back regularly to see more of this type of content. I've got a whole summer lineup ready regular Saturday uploads so hit the notification bell and you won't miss a thing. Off it goes to my local thrift shop as a gift and I wish you a wonderful day today and a great start to your summer. It's coffee time.